trucking is the lifeblood of any economy. But worldwide, the arteries are clogged. I've been here for two weeks. I have a refrigeration unit, as you can see, with garlic, and the gasoline is not enough to run the refrigeration unit. The blockage in this case is government coronavirus regulation. These thousands of trucks massed on the Chilean border are waiting to be cleared to enter the country. That's putting strain on an already overstressed supply chain that could represent an existential threat to nations that rely on imports. This is becoming a real problem. The authorities or the president have to take care of this. This load is in refrigeration units, diesel is running out and they have equipment that cannot handle being on a long time. The engines are running day and night and they are starting to fail and affect the cargo. And in other places it's led truckers to realize how much power they might have to bring a society to its needs. In Ottawa, Canada, the streets are entirely gridlocked and cities say there is no room on the roads for more people as truckers protest another set of coronavirus laws. This time a requirement that anyone crossing the U.S.-Canada border show proof of vaccination. Well, I'm not vaccinated. So I left before the 15th of January. The rule in the States wasn't in place yet, but I, I have other friends that say even no vaccinated now, right now, the U.S. Customs, they're not enforcing that. So they're still going there. The problem is when we come back. They call themselves the Freedom Convoy and have taken on more than just truckers to protest what they say is massive government overreach during the pandemic. COVID mandates have exacerbated a problem years in the making, a shortage of truck drivers worldwide. The United States is 80,000 drivers short, according to the American Trucking Association. Europe estimates shortages in more than 800 companies. Now with Omicron running rampant across vaccinated, unvaccinated alike, some nations are considering scrapping their mandates to save their logistics. Britain and Ireland being the first, while Israel considers scrapping its green pass system to ward off more economic damage. Because with trucks bearing food, medical supplies and other critical needs, the current cure may be doing more harm than good.